I've wanted one of these backlight kits for years. They look so cool. We eventually plan on renovating this whole room, including replacing the built-ins and adding proper table management, but we don't have the funds or the time for a full renovation right now. So we're going to do a temporary fix. Frankly, the wall is pretty dingy and overdue for a refresh. Also, sorry about the giant dust bunnies. I swear we do vacuum. Our dog just sheds a lot. This is only about a week worth. He's sweet, but the shedding is next level. I wanted something light and neutral to show off the color bleed effect, and this cream cuddler coordinates really well with the limestone fireplace. It's also in almost every other room of the house. I have lots and it's really easy to maintain. It's just a bunch of scrap leftover paint that we mixed together and tweaked a bit. My dad has a paint company and the odd leftover bits pile up after a while. So that's the first coat about done. I'm just gonna do a second coat. It's just gonna be boring, so I'm gonna do that off camera. And hopefully next time you see me, the whole wall be coated twice and we'll be ready to do the faux finish. I woke up this morning with an idea. We hate this window over the TV. It's south facing and we don't have any tall trees or buildings behind our house. So the light is always in our face when we watch TV. It's also pretty dinky for a living room window. It's only two by four feet. I ran it by Hubby and the kiddo. They both liked my idea to board it up. This room is effectively a theater room. We have a second living room off the dining room with a conversation space, so we don't really care that this room is really dedicated to the TV. I was careful about removing the trim around the window and cleaning it up nicely to store it. This way we can reinstall the trim if we change our minds. We're gonna try it out and reassess when we do the built-ins. My original plan for this wall was to get those 3D panels, but those are a bit cost prohibitive for something that we'll need to rip out and redo when we're going to put the wires in the wall. So I decided to play with sheen and metallic finishes instead. I still wanted to keep the colors light and neutral. Bold colors can muck up RGB lighting. My dad had this leftover mica powder from decades ago, so I mixed a little bit of that with some polyurethane to make a semi-transparent pearlescent white paint. I used a little bit less mica powder than usual to keep the paint semi-transparent and let the base color show through. The end result is barely visible in normal light, but very reflective and shimmery when the light hits it. I kept the design really loose, organic, and neutral too. This is for two reasons. First, it's quick, easy, and forgiving. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on something that was temporary. I won't feel too bad messing it up when we renovate. Second, I didn't want anything too distracting or overpowering. I plan on doing several other decorative finishes in other parts of the house. Everything is really bold, they can kind of compete with each other. This keeps my options open. So I decided it was better to lean into more of a 70s organic modern look. Our house was built in the 70s, so mid-century modern and organic style tie into the architecture of the house. And that about finishes the painting, so all that's left now is to clean up the room and reset everything. You know, I think I might like this even more than the 3D panels. If nothing else, it's unique. I don't know, comment and let me know what you think. I have a few more projects lined up for the next few weeks. Subscribe if you want to see them. And as always, thanks for watching.